Have you ever had the following issue when you're using the Lightroom cloning or remove tool? You apply one spot and it does a pretty good job, but doesn't get everything. So you want to apply it again in the same area, but Lightroom won't let you do one over top. Or will it? Hi, I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor. And in this video, you'll learn the Lightroom cloning hacks to solve that problem and some others that you might not even know you had. So if you're ready to see the magic, let's do this. I've already done some basic edits to this stock image, but I want to remove this sign on the bed. So I'm going to open the remove tool. You can do that by clicking here or pressing Q on your keyboard. I'm going to use remove, non-generative AI, and non-subject aware. So I'm leaving those unchecked. Then I'm just gonna make sure that I get the whole area that I want removed. Then let's see what Lightroom fills in. I had to hit refresh here a few times to get this result, which is pretty good considering I haven't used the generative AI. But now I want to fix this area here at the bottom of the pillow. But you'll notice that if I try and click here, I can't add a second cloning spot. So how do we get around that? Well, there's actually two ways that we can hack this problem. The first way is to simply close the tool, open it again, and now that the spot that I applied the first time isn't selected or highlighted, I can resize my spot and paint over the new area that I want to remove. That looks pretty decent. Now I can do the same here. Let me click over this area and redo that spot. I'm happy with that. Let's take a look at another way to solve the problem. I'm just going to move over here and I'm going to attempt to erase this whole bin with the glasses in it. So I'm just going to paint over the whole thing, including this sign and the book at the bottom. Make sure you don't miss any areas like that. Get the whole thing, and then let's see what Lightroom comes up with. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. So for this type of removal, we're going to have to use the generative AI. Simply check it off, and Lightroom will generate some options for us. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> it's put a pamphlet or something on the table. Number two is pretty good, as is number three. But let's say this was the best version that we got. Now I want to go over this area again. But as you can see, I can't paint in this area again with a new spot. We have to deselect this one. There isn't an easy way to do that other than closing the tool. But there's another little hack. Let me show you a trick. I'm just going to draw over here, and then once it's done, I'm going to move it over the spot I want. You'll notice that I painted in approximately the same size. And now we just have something that looks like a shadow, which is not too bad. So once again, the two hacks to make this tool work, if you've applied a spot and you want to paint over it, are, let's do it again over here. Let's paint over these items, but this time I'm going to leave the book and create a new generative fill. Option two looks pretty good, but I don't like this dark spot here on the book. So to solve it, remember our two options are close the tool and reopen it. Now I can choose non-generative AI and just paint a small area and get rid of the dark spot. Remember, if you need to paint over the same area again, you can paint next to it and then move it over as well, like this. So your two options or hacks for this cloning tool problem to get them to overlap are close the tool and reopen it, or paint next to where you want the second one and then just move it over a little bit. And if you have multiple cloning tool spots on your image like this, you can actually just select a different one and then you can paint over the other area like so. If you like this tip so far and would like to have more extensive Lightroom learning, check out Lightroom for Photographers, the complete course.
available on our website. There's a link in the description area below for you. You get over 15 hours of video tutorials, my raw files so that you can follow along with all of the lessons, and several other bonuses including overlays, presets, and more. And now let's get back to the tutorial. Remember I mentioned earlier that there were other problems that you could solve with the cloning or remove tool? Let's take a look. This is one of the raw files that comes with the Lightroom course. I've already done some basic editing to boost the contrast. But now I want to tone down some of the areas at the bottom, some of these rocks here. Let me zoom in and take a closer look. I don't want to get rid of them completely, but I just want to darken them so that they're not so prominent. An easy way to do that is using the Remove tool. So open the Clone or Remove tool, and I like to use the Healing option set to about 50% opacity. Then paint over the area you want to darken and make sure that it's choosing an area nearby that is indeed darker. See what that's doing? I can do the same here and here and so on. So just quickly selecting all of these spots, you'll notice I can darken the rocks without removing them. Let me zoom out and take a look at a larger area. If I want to darken this whole cliffside here, let's get a really big brush, paint an area over. You'll notice that it's selecting this area up here, which is similar in texture. I'm going to reposition over here so that it's picking up more darkness. If you're not happy with the texture that's happening, try just remove, still at 50% opacity. See what it's doing? It's just minimizing that texture. And of course, you have the ability to dial it up or down at any time. So you can make it really subtle. Let's do the same with this big rock down here. Here's the opacity dialed all the way down and dialed all the way up. Obviously, we don't want that texture, but let's just darken a little bit. Again, I think this one will do a better job here. When we zoom out and have a look at the before and after, see how it's just doing quick tone control. We can do that in other areas where we want to darken just really quickly like this. So you don't have to do any masking or selections, just use the cloning tool at a lower opacity. Well, have you ever wished that you could put a second clone spot over top of another one? Is your mind blown with how simple the solution is? If so, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and tell your photography friends about us. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom cloning tool hack tutorial. If you'd like to watch another video here on YouTube, click one on the screen now. Until next time, keep practicing your photo editing and remember to have fun.